All right, Pokemon fans, before we start today's video, I wanna ask you a question. Can you spot the difference? Hey, what is up, Breaking Family? Sending some positive vibes in your direction. We are here at Walmart because the other day I was browsing through the store and I happened to come across a new Pokemon tin. Well, I guess really new isn't the correct word, but it was a Pokemon card tin that we have all seen before, but this time it was different. We're gonna buy one of the new one and one of the original one and see if you can spot the difference. So Breaking Family, let's head inside Walmart. Let's open up some Pokemon cards. Let's have some fun in today's video. Let's do it. All right, we're back here in the toy section at Walmart and they do have the new tins here at Walmart. So unfortunately they don't have the older version so we can't compare it just yet, but we're gonna go to another store and see if they have it. But can you spot the difference yet? Marie, you can't participate. You already know the difference. But you can't participate, Marie. You already know the difference. I'll give you one close-up look before we go to the other store and try to find the older version, but there's two differences between this version and the older version. Marie, I know you want to participate, but you can't. You just can't. I'm sorry. Even though it's Snorlax and Eevee, and I know how much you love Eevee. I love my Eevee. All right, let's check the price real fast. Still $25. So they actually have one of every single one of them, Celebi and Venusaur. We got Pikachu and Zekrom and then Eevee and Snorlax. Now we're just gonna get the Eevee and Snorlax then head to the other store, try to find the older version. We'll open up a couple other booster packs as well, but you'll see what the difference is here in a minute. All right, Breaking Family, we are here at Target. Fingers crossed that they have an older version of the Eevee and Snorlax GX Tag Team 10. I know it doesn't look like we're at Target, but I promise, I promise we are at Target. Fingers crossed, do it with me now. Here's all the proof you need that we are at Target. And the big Target sign right over there as well. And there's more proof. And all the Target cards. All right, Pokemon card section right over here. And they do have some unified minds. We might have to buy some just to open up today, but we're looking for that older tin. Boom. There it is right there. And right in front, Eevee Snorlax. Can you tell the difference yet? Murray, look what I found. And it has a different hollow foil pattern. We have to get it for your Evolution collection. Uh-oh, Murray. What? No, 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 no. Okay. Espeon right back there. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to grab a three pack right over here. Ray's already doing a dance over there. All right, add that to our our hall Pokemon opening Eevee. extravaganza. Are you doing a dance again? Breaking family, thanks for joining me back here at home. We have a lot of Pokemon cards to open up in today's video, as well as trying to figure out what the difference exactly is between these two tins right here. One, two. First things first, I think we get comfortable by taking off our shoes. Ah, there we go. Now we can get down to business. So we will be trying to figure out the difference between the newer version of these tins and the older version of the tins. Now, obviously you all can see there is a little bit of a color difference and a design difference, but we don't know if there is something different inside of these. So we'll figure that out here in just a couple minutes. But first, we're gonna go ahead and start off with some of the other Pokemon items that we got. Now, I do have some dollar store booster packs right here, some Unbroken Bonds $1 dollar store booster packs that we will be opening up in today's video, as well as these Unified Minds that we got as well. So I say what we do is we go ahead, we open up the Unified Minds, then we open up the tens, and then we end with the dollar store booster packs because you all know I am the king of the dollar store. So we have about five Unified Minds booster packs to open up, one three pack, and then two check lane blisters. We had to have these because Marie needed them for her Evolution collection, which nothing wrong with that. They do have a different foil pattern. These are not, they are not, I repeat, are not a promo. They are just rares from a previous set with a different foil pattern. All right, let me show you right here so you can get a nice close-up look so you can see what I mean by a little bit of a different foil pattern. And we have this nice Eevee right here, which is just a common, but we do have the Espeon. You can see the foil pattern is different than normal. There's the coin right there, nice Empoleon coin. And then of course you already got the code card, whoosh. I'll put this trash right over there and this trash right over there and then pick it all up afterwards, which takes like a good 30 minutes. All right, let's see what's inside of our first Unified Minds booster pack. Um, a lot of times I've been having pretty good luck every once in a while with these check lane blisters. So hopefully the luck continues with it. Shroomish, Slackoth, Drifloon, Energy, Electric, 
Reset Stamp, which there's also a secret rare version in this set. Double Blade Reverse Allo and a Medicham for our rare. We'll set that right down there in the rare spot and the reverse hollow spot. There's the code card right there. I give you the code cards in every single video. I love me a good code card. Don't get me wrong, but I'd rather give them to you, the breaking family. So if you enjoy a good code card, make sure you hit that notification bell right at the bottom of your screen. Boom, you could have done it. It would, it would have been that easy. Look, it's that fast, that easy, that simple, that fast. Uh, the code cards do go pretty fast, and I do give them away in every single Pokemon upload. Uh, so that's why I suggest hitting that bell icon so you can get notified as soon as a new video goes up. And you can rush over here, try to grab yourself a code card. And there is the coin, which is the same in this one. Trash. Trash. All right, next Unified Minds. I'll set that right over there. Set this right down here. All right, let's see. If we have any luck with our second booster pack, Noibat, Sneasel, Bone Sweet, Joltik, Salandit, Energy, Breloom, Dark City. I can't see anything. It's dark in here. We have a Snow Rot, terrible, terrible joke, and a Lucario for the rare in that one. So back to back fighting Pokemon. If I was definitely trying to build a fighting deck, um, that would have been uh, two good pulls right there. But it gave me a great selection of fighting Pokemon to choose from. Three more booster packs, and then another code card that will unlock this promo Vicavolt right here. And it is a promo, not an alternate art. And the coin for this one is an adorable little Rowlet. How you doing, Rowlet? Hopefully you're having a great day. Okay, next booster pack. Hopefully we have some uh, even better luck with this three pack. Code card goes over there. Not right. Over there. Get away. Trying to steal my thunder. Trying to steal my spotlight. Marini. Litwick. Cubone. Yanma. Young Goose. Energy. We have a Puke. Archgen. Yon Mega. A Reverse Hello. Young Goose. And a Crustal. So no hollow rare pull just yet. These hollow rares in this set have been a little bit harder to pull. We've opened up a couple Unified Minds booster boxes here on the channel since the set has been released and we've pulled about anywhere from four to six hollow rares, not ultra rares, but just hollow rares per booster box. So it does seem to be pretty, um, pretty difficult to pull a hollow rare. Drillbur, Slackoth, Fungus, Energy. Ear Ringing Bell. I feel like I don't see that card a whole lot. Blaine's Quiz Show. Stadium Nav. Reverse Hello Marini. And then there we go. We have a nice Hollow Rare Pokemon pull. Our first one of today's opening. Hopefully we will at least get one Ultra Rare. But I'm very thankful that we at least got a Hollow Rare pull. All right, our last Unified Minds pack, and then we'll go into those tins and try to spot the difference, if you will. Murkrow, and Murkrow, you're a bird, and it'd be rude to tell you to just sit there, so spread your wings, fly, fly away, bird. Go follow your dreams, just like all of you should. Energy, Lorantis, Mesprit, Sableye, Reverse Hello Dratini, and a Latias, so no Ultra Rare pull out of any of our Unified Minds, but that's perfectly okay. It's all about having fun, and I know I'm definitely having some fun, so let's go ahead and try to spot the difference of these two tins right here. So this one is the older version, and you can see just by the design of the tin right here, we do have some silver or gray, whatever you want to call it. Silver or gray on that one. It looks more silver to me, but some of you may say gray. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm actually really interested in that. Do you think that looks more silver or more gray to you? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm very interested in what people think. So you can see uh, the background is a little bit more of a green, greenish uh, tint to it. Kind of almost like a Snorlax green or a blue. Looks green to me. And then here is the newer version right here, which there is no silver or gray on the edge. A blue background and... It is smaller in size too. Look at this. Look at how small this is compared to this one. Almost, it's almost like it's in half. So we put them side by side right there. 
it looks like this new tin right here is half the size of the original tin. Now it's still the same price at $25. So very interesting, exact same promo card in both of them alternate art promo, whatever you want to call it. Let's open up the older one to kind of remind ourselves of what booster packs come inside. And I'm kind of curious, actually really curious if the exact same booster packs come inside the newer one as well. Now I've only found these at Walmart and I thought this was very, very interesting. And I was trying to decide if it was interesting enough to do an entire video based around and I figured I would want to see a video based around it so I'm sure some of you would as well I try to always spot things like this and show them to you here on the channel now these tins came out not too uh not crazy long ago back when team up came out so that was earlier this year and these are just starting to hit the store shelves this week so very very interesting so there is the promo card right there it does have the promo symbol but it is the exact same Eevee and Snorlax GX from uh, Team Up. There's the code card right there. I'm going to set this off to the side. We do have a metal marker, a metal GX marker. I don't know how well you can hear this, but metal. And then our packs are a Team Up, another Team Up, a Forbidden Light, and then an Evolutions Let's go ahead and open those up and then we'll open up this newer tin and figure out if the exact same packs or are inside of that one. Now I've been finding these right here, the newer ones, uh, back in the toy section at Walmart. I actually found them at, I think two or three different Walmarts and they were always back in the toy section. So I think these might be an exclusive to Walmart. Um, I don't know 100% for sure, I didn't hear about any release information about a different des uh, tin design. So this is totally brand new to me. Double colorless energy, Noodle Rana, energy retrieval, reverse hollow, Tangula, and a Doug Trio. Triple the fun in that card right there. Code card goes right back there. Forbidden Light is the next one we are going into. Gotta love that sound, right? Gotta love the sound of a good booster pack in your life. Forbidden Light, what are you bringing to the table? Hopefully, hopefully you can take the cake. Clauncher, Noibat, Panchum, Esper, Energy, Judge, Magneton, Go Goat. Where you going, Goat? Reverse Hollow, Skidoo, and a Noivern flying at you right through the screen. No Hollow Rare just yet. We only have pulled one, but still... Still not another one we have uh, yet to pull. All right, Team Up, which is just falling apart right in front of my eyes. Ah, team Up was a good set. Still is a good set. All right, Ponyta, Mary, Char, Char. All right, one impression a day. That's all you get. Only one Pokemon impression a day. Pidgeotto, fly away, Pidgeotto. Energy, War Turtle, Pupitar. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of like when you smell something bad and you go, pew, Pupitar. Reverse, that was lame. Zora and Alolan Executor. And the code card for that one. Almost said energy, code card. All right, last booster pack from this tin. I'll set that right down there. All right, can we get one good pull? One extremely good pull from this tin. I honestly have really bad luck with these tins right here. Um, so that's why I've not bought a lot of them. I've opened them up here on the channel before, but my luck with these is just not the best. Jinx, Hitmonlee, Dana, Pidgeotto, and it looks like my luck is continuing. Electrode, Hollow Rare. Hey, at least it's a Hollow Rare, so we have that to be thankful for. And the code card for that last one. Now, it is time to figure out if... The booster packs are the exact same inside of this one. To be honest with you, I think I prefer the design of the newer tin over the older tin. All right, so uh, what was it? Evolutions, Forbidden Light, and then two team up. So let's see if it's the exact same thing. Here is our promo. Let me give you the code card. There's the code card right there. Hopefully you claim it for the Pokemon TCG online. So we have team up. Team up, Lost Thunder, and Evolution. So a little bit different, not a huge difference, but a little bit of a difference. 
If you are someone that collects tins, this is definitely probably something you're gonna wanna put inside of your collection. If you love Eevee stuff, you love Snorlax stuff, definitely go grab yourself one. Just keep in mind, they are the exact same price for $25. I was kind of hoping that they would, would be $20 instead of $25, but still the exact same price, but that's okay. That's okay. Ponyta, Doduo, Staryu, Seal, Charmander, Maintenance, Poliwhirl, Brock's Grit. Oh, there we go. Nido King Break. And eradicate for our rare so we'll at least put that in the vip section code card right there not trying to feel too disappointed just quite yet we've only opened up a bunch of booster packs <laughs> nido king break here's the question how will our pull rates be inside of our dollar store booster packs will we do better with the dollar store booster packs over the full price regular booster packs That'll be interesting to find out. We'll open those up right after we're done with this 10. One, two, three, four. One, two. All right. Come on, Ultra Rare. Houndower. Poiple. Larvitar. Tangula. Still love the artwork on that Tangula. Energy. Spell Tag. Memory Energy. Vespaquin. Alolan Diglett. And an unknown. At this point, it's unknown. If I will pull an Ultra Rare in today's Pokemon card opening, one can only hope that one person would be me. Okay, next booster pack, second to last. We're in Team Up now. All right, Hone Edge, Pidgeotto, Flyaway, Nidoran, Cosmog, Magikarp, and Fish Swim, so go in the ocean. Energy, Metal Goggles, Golduck, Doublade, Charmeleon. I'm not even going to say anything. Not even going to say anything, Breaking Family. Last regular full-priced booster pack, and then we're going into our Dollar Store booster packs from Dollar General. Or were they from Dollar Tree? I don't remember where I got them from. One of the two. All right. We have a Alolan Grimer, Ponyta, Mary, Charmander, Energy to go with my Charmander, Alolan Graveler, Brock's Grit, Pupitar. Will my luck continue, or my lack of luck with these tens continue? Yes. Yes, it will continue. Nido King. Hey, two Nido Kings. Pretty cool. All right. There's a code card right there. Now let's go ahead and get into tens everywhere. Let's go ahead and get into these dollar store booster packs. All right. I think there's about 20 ish booster packs right there. Let's see how our luck is. I'm actually going to try to figure out, um, let's see reverse hollow rares. How many reverse hollow rares did we pull? One, um, one, is that it? One reverse hollow rare. Yes. One reverse hollow rare. And then one hollow rare, I believe. No, two hollow rares. Yes, two hollow rares. Let's see if we can do better from our dollar store booster packs. All right, like I said, I think we have about 20, 21, 22, something like that. There is only three cards inside of these, and they are 100% real. You can pull anything from them. They are sold at Dollar Tree and Dollar General. And like I said, you can pull literally anything. The most rarest of rare cards. And we have a reverse hollow wheezing, so already a reverse hollow rare. So I'm going to set these off to the sides. This will be our nice regular uh, packs. And then right here will be our dollar general packs. Okay. Next one. I'm just really curious if we're going to pull have better pulls in a dollar store booster packs. All right. And if you do pull anything, it's going to be the middle card. That's why you see me doing that card trick like that. Metapod. And an Esper, so no rare inside of that pack. You're not guaranteed a rare or even a reverse holo inside of the packs. And you do not get a code card. So $1, you're taking a little bit of a risk, but the reward could be really, really good. Energy and a Quagsire, which is another rare, but we're not counting the non holo rares. We're just trying to compare the holo goodness stuff. All right, that goes right back there. File that away in my filing cabinet. Sand Dial, Martial Arts Dojo, and a Salandit for the rare in that one. 
next pack. And if you want to see what that is, I keep throwing those back there if you're curious. Just a little thing talking about Pokemon TV and the TCG. Cuffing, Fairy Charm, and a Salazzle, which is another rare. So we're actually having really good luck with our rares in the dollar store booster packs. All right, next one. We have ourselves a Vinonat Energy and a Reverse Hollow Slowpoke. Ah, Slowpoke, my second favorite Pokemon of all time. I'm really throwing those like a boss. Spiro, Poliwhirl, and a Jigglypuff. You know, maybe we're not getting an ultra rare pull out of these dollar store booster packs because I don't have the right attire on. Because you know I am the king of the dollar store. I got my royal scepter right here. All right. Let's see if that brought me any good luck right there. Lick it, tongue. Porygon Ha 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 ha! Yes! Yes, there we go! Ultra rare goodness, that's what I'm talking about. Royal Scepter, you are magical, my friend. Royal Scepter. Ultra rare, Lucario, and Melmetal. I can't believe that actually worked. I'm just as shocked as all of you. Lucario and Melmetal GX. Our first ultra rare pull of today's video. And it was from a dollar store booster pack. You know what? I need a crown. I need a crown since I am the king of the dollar store. There we go. My royal crown. My royal scepter. Here we go. Next booster pack. That might not work every time. I might be pushing my luck. But hey, I'm having fun at least. And that's what matters. All right, a Spritzy, Giovanni's Exile, and a Sand Slash, which is a Reverse Hollow Rare, so we get to put it in that stack. Ah, huh, Scepter, you have done some magnificent work for us today in our Pokemon opening. Goldeen, Energy, and no rare in that one. Honestly, I think we're doing way better in these dollar store booster packs than we were with our regular booster packs. All right, Rattata, Graveler, and a Zara Aura, another rare. I'm gonna have to count up all the rares at the very end. All right, whoosh. We have a Zubat, Lieutenant Surge's strategy, and a Perugly, which is yet another rare because I am the king. Going into a Sylveon and Gardevoir, Obviously, we're still trying to pull a Hyper Rare, Rainbow Rare, Reshiram, and Charizard from a Dollar Store Booster Pack. Vidonat, Electromagnetic Radar. The King has spoken. We got another Ultra Rare pull from a Dollar Store Booster Pack. Two Ultra Rares, and we couldn't even get one in a regular booster pack. Uh, yes, Royal Scepter is bringing us some good luck today. Whimsicott GX, our second ultra rare pull. Let's set it right over there. And we're still, we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight left to go. Whew. Not too bad, not too bad, Breaking Family. All right, coughing, energy. And a Reverse Hollow Incineroar, which is another rare. Whew. It's important to stay hydrated. All right, next booster pack. This is what, number seven, number eight, to last one? I don't know. I lost count. I stopped counting. Math. Math is hard. Togetic and a coughing. I don't know why I threw that Zubat, because Zubat's technically not a bird. It's because we encounter so many of them when we go into the cave. All right, that goes right over there in my filing cabinet. Oddish. We have a hollow rare Mel Metal. So you can see our luck is going strong with these dollar store booster packs. I'm not lying when I say I'm the king of the dollar store. Rhyhorn, energy, and a Mel Tan to go with our Mel Metal. Uh, four booster packs left. All right, four booster packs left. 
Let's see if we can get one more amazing pull before today's Pokemon card opening is over. Spiro, fly away. And a reverse hollow welder. Three left. And I think my fingers are starting to get tired. They definitely can get tired when you're opening up dollar store booster packs. Ghastly, energy, and yet another rare. Thanks for joining the party, rare. If you had fun in today's video, or just had a good time being here, do me a favor. What are you doing? Do me a favor. Uh, hit the like button, the thumbs up button, whatever you want to call it on this video. I would definitely appreciate it. And this is your first time here on the channel. I would love, love, love if you hit that subscribe button, become part of the Breaking Family, a fun and positive Pokemon community right here on YouTube that I would love for you to be a part of. And if, that's, if you don't like me, that's perfectly okay. I still like you and you're always welcome back here on the channel. Cool thing about this channel is we don't judge anybody here on this channel. We're all here and we're all being ourselves. Obviously you can tell I'm very weird here and um, that's just me, I'm just being myself. Spritzy, Weeping Bell, and a Doe Duo, but we can already tell our dollar store luck was a lot better than our regular booster pack luck. So in our regular booster packs, we pulled uh, two hollow rares, one reverse hollow rare, and a break. And then out of our dollar store booster packs, we pulled one hollow rare, one, two, three reverse hollow rares, and then two ultra rare Pokemon cards. The king has spoken. And if you're looking for the winner of last Friday's giveaway, the winner is announced right in the pinned comment of this video. So if that is you right down there, you have one week to claim your prize. My email is down in the video description down below. So make sure you send me an email claiming your prize. And of course, as always, if you are a younger member of the Breaking Family, whenever we have a giveaway or there is a chance to claim a giveaway, if you are a winner of a giveaway, please make sure you have your guardian do it for you if you are a younger member of the Breaking Family. All right, Breaking Family, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to come and hang out with this so not cool person right here. Remember the Pokemon fun does not stop right here. There's many more awesome Pokemon videos right here on this channel. And don't forget, I love every single one of you amazing people all around this world. And don't forget, every single one of you are important in this world and every single one of you are loved and I love every single one of you. I will see all of you, all of you awesome people in the next video. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.